Hi, Bacon Hair Animated here. And today you'll see the story of a zombie apocalypse in Brookhaven. <laughs> it's you, the nerd. Well, prepare yourself for a good beating. Why are you following me? Oh, what did I do to you? You're such a loser. We need to teach you a lesson so you don't want to be clever in class too often. You make us look like complete fools. Well, that's okay. I'll find a way to get back at them. Seems there is something to be found in our hospital. <sighs> Hello, sorry to bother you. Why have you come? Do you want to infect the whole world with some terrible disease? Maybe you want to test my new potion that turns you into a slug. Uh, no thanks. I'd like something a little scarier. You know, I get bullied at school all the time. And just because I'm smart. Oh, I see. I was underestimated earlier either. Now I am more powerful than all of them. <laughs> Of course, I know what can help you. This is my latest achievement. An injection that will give you superpowers. Cool, I could be a superhero. I have to try, can I? Of course, I was just looking for someone to test it on. Okay, this is one for enslaving the world. This one turns into a monster. This one is against boldness. Yeah, found it. Well, come here. I don't feel well, doctor. Hmm. There might be some side effects. What are the side effects? Well, nausea or memory loss or... Stop it! Please, I'm going home. <laughs> Did you miss us? Here we are. Guys, seriously, it's not the time. I feel not good. Hey, you. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Lily, what do we have now? Math. Did you do the homework? No, what about you? Neither. Why don't we skip it? Let's skip it. Look at these people! Go to class, kids. Don't mess up our rest. By the way, have you seen our friend? No, we didn't! Get out of here! Who do you think you are? 
That's enough. You're both going to get the lesson from us instead. Help! Ah! That's a real zombie! There are zombies! Zombie City! Run! Why aren't you in class? Did you skip it? Calm down and sit at your desks. After class, we'll go to the principal. You'll tell him everything. That's it, you've done it. I'm now gonna check it out and prove you wrong. It's not rabbit, it's a zombie! Get a doctor quickly, or you'll turn into one too! What nonsense! What zombies? Are you out of your mind? Okay, I'm gonna call the police and they'll deal with it. Strange. It's the first time I've ever seen the police not pick up the phone. Calm <laughs> down! Don't panic! The main thing is to stick together! and somehow get out of here. Oh no! Those are my favorite chips! I have to go back for them! Ah -ha! Help! Get rid of him! Ah -ha! Stop! You hurt Peter! No! Ah! Hurry up and do something already! Children, close your eyes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
There is an invasion of zombies in Brookhaven. No one knows where they came from. So we have to figure out what to do next. Phones don't work, and there's no policemen in town. And there's mess everywhere. Your dad has a point. We need to wait it out. It's better to stay off the street. We have everything we need to live here for a week. But dad, what about the people outside? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid they can't be saved. We don't know what's going on out there yet. Children, you wait here while I go to the police station. We need more guns to protect us from the zombies. Listen to your mom strictly. Okay, Dad. Stop! Don't shoot! I'm not a zombie! I think I know you. You work as a fireman at the local fire department. Yes, it's me. Just don't kill me. I wasn't bitten. Okay, I won't. What's going on here anyway? Why isn't anyone here? Why didn't you put up any resistance? We tried. Someone got bitten. Someone got scared and ran away. I'm the only one left. Why did you come? I need a gun. I have two children. I need to protect them. Will you help me? You unsaved my children from a fire. Now, I'll help you. My name's Eric. You can have some of the weapons. You arrested me once. Now I'll get my revenge on you. I'll release all your trapped zombies. Eric, no! Oh no, it happened after all. I got bit. But you're still alive though. Maybe you won't turn. I've seen people even with a bite still turn into zombies. They still somehow infect people with this horrible virus. So, do it before it's too late. No, I can't do it. Come on, otherwise I'll become like them. I'd rather disappear than let that happen. Run, before the zombies come here. What? Are they coming to the noise? Open it? What if someone needs help? No, it could be bandits. Help! Please, somebody! 
Let's help! There's a child's voice! I don't think a child can do anything to us! Alright, but you'll have to explain it to your dad yourself! Thank you for opening up! I escaped from those horrible zombies! Hey, my parents! Can I stay with you until my uncle comes for me? Of course, come in! You'll be safe here! Freeze! Don't move! Get in the house! Hey, boy! Tie them up! Hurry! Tell me what you have in the house. Quickly! We don't have anything, we swear! We just wanted to wait until some help came! Uh, you guys are suspicious. I'll go check it out, and you keep an eye on them. And don't do anything stupid, or else it's over for you, you worthless boy! Who is he to you? Why is he treating you this way? He saved me when my parents became zombies. I only survived because of him. He takes care of me, in his own way. So what? He saved you so he could use you as his personal servant? But it was the only way we could survive. Why such a life? You're experienced enough. You can manage on your own. We'll help you. Promise? Sure, just untie us! You traitor! You weak-willed boy! I'll punish you now! Hey! What about me? You promised you'd help me! How could you? I'm sorry. We have to save ourselves. Oh, you? Daddy, you're back! You're back! I think I'm right on time. So after everything that's happened, I've decided that we have to leave the city. It's not safe to stay here. Here's our new home, but first we need to reinforce the house so that bandits and looters can't get in here anymore. And you'll help me with that. Now we'll take everything we need and get started. Well, that's enough, I think. Our amount of supply should be enough for a while. So, kids, today we're going to practice shooting zombies. Come with me. We're out of town, so it's okay. You can make some noise. Aim for the head. That way, they won't get up again. Well done. You did a great job. But I missed! It's okay, you'll succeed. You almost succeeded. I don't want to! He was a human before! Lily, if you don't get rid of them, then they'll eat you. It can only eat. It's not human. Lily, really. I'm not excited with our new way of life either. But we have to adjust somehow. We don't have a choice. What? 
So easy? How did she do that? Unbelievable. Look, Jim, you obviously have to push harder to catch up with your sister. A week later. Dad, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. I don't have the energy anymore. Get ready. We're moving out soon. I have a plan. What, Dad? We need to grow our own food. We need seeds for that. Since we're out of food and we need something to eat, I've made a decision. We're going downtown again. Maybe there's another way? It's too dangerous. Remember how your last outing ended. I understand everything, honey, but it has to be done. And I won't be alone. I think it would be good for the kids, too. For example, Jim's not a little boy anymore. Even though he tries to remain mature, that doesn't mean he's like that on the inside. Jim will do fine. I'll take care of him. But I'll let Lily stay home. Good luck. Come back soon. Dad, are you sure anything's left here? People may have taken all the goods a long time ago. Perhaps, but still, not everyone is able to see the benefit in the seeds. Right now, everyone is only thinking about ready-made products. Surrounded. All right, you run that way and I'll run the other way. I'll distract them. But Dad, you're risking your life. How will you escape? You've already done your job. You saved me. Now I have to save you. Everything's gonna be all right, Jim. I promise you. Come on, show me what you've got, you stupid zombies! So glad! Why are you here? Why didn't you run home and leave me? Because you taught me that we're family, and we have to stick together to the last. But, Dad, how could you save yourself? I don't know, it's... it's some kind of miracle. It's like the zombies didn't even notice me or even touch me. It's like I'm of no interest to them. Hmm, okay. And by the way... You need a good wash when we get home. You stink like a zombie. Wait! I think I got it! What's the matter, son? You got dirty in the zombies! That's why they couldn't smell you! 
I guess we figured out that they're guided by smell and sound. Wow. Who would have thought? Uh, we have to tell Mom and Lily about this. What happened? Where's Lily? They... they took her away! There were so many of them. They said they needed her for something important. They went off in the direction of the city. You must save her! What about you? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I can take care of myself. Welcome to our settlement. Make yourself at home here. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Untie me now! Believe me, it's better to not resist. Just accept your fate. You're gonna love it here. A wonderful life awaits us here under the protection of our head. My name is Mary, by the way. It's impossible! Let me go! Where's my mom? You'll find out soon enough. As long as you're waiting here, have some water. Who's that? Oh, he joined us not long ago. Such a weird guy. They say he's trying to develop a vaccine that can stop you turning into a zombie. So far, he's not dangerous in any way. Though, he's going against the will of the head. But we're doing everything we can to placate him. And how do you know that? You'll find out later. You're going to love it. Stop! Tell me! Hey! Greetings, child. You're about to devote your life to a great cause. Your life will be dedicated to the well-being of humanity! Why are there so many zombies? Why don't you get rid of them? Don't you recognize anyone here? We thought it would make you feel better. So we turned your new friend Mary into a zombie. She gladly agreed. No, you're all lying. That can't be right. We gather our brothers and sisters here. They continue to live with us, and we feed them. Hey, you! You're an unfulfilled peacemaker! Go back to your dear fellow tribesmen! Ha! Now I'm in for sure! People! Don't you think this is all a load of nonsense? Stop believing this! Let's look for a real solution and stay human! Wait, where are you going? But what do we do now? We don't have a leader. But we don't want to live independently. Together, we can be useful to you and your family. Take us with you. Hmm... Okay, let's go. You guys go prepare a field. You guys go plant the wheat. You guys prepare the water. Hmm. 
and you. Let's see your work on the zombie vaccine, and we'll have to think about using zombies in the household. Well, family, we must now live differently. The fate of the whole settlement is upon us. Let's try our best to build here a little island of hope for the future of mankind. <laughs> <laughs>